Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm with Police Chief Philip Hahn from uh, Sutter Creek Police Department. And, uh, you know, we were talking, actually we were talking during the break uh, of, uh, of how, the play, how Amador County in a way has changed. I've been up here for 25 years. You've just got here. You know, this probably seems like paradise to you. I know it seemed like paradise to me. It's a little uh, little rougher around the edges now. We have more people, not too many more, but but uh, it seems like we have some big city crime uh, here. Not big city crime, but I mean we have like we have murders. We have people that you know uh, take a knife after somebody, and and of course assault and batteries and things like that, and uh, drug grow. A person got yeah, you know uh, uh, killed in that. So you know we're not uh, we're not a no crime area any longer. But what kind of crime, as if you would describe Sutter Creek's crime, what kind of crime are they, is, is there oh. that you look out for? Or, um, have you come up with any estimate, estimates now or a way of looking at it? Yeah, looking, looking uh, historically, um, you know, in the recent past and, and um, you know, during this month, um, you know, we, we are... are our volume of activity is is obviously a lot less than in a, in a metropolitan area. Um, we have had a little bit of property crime, and that's kind of been um, historical. Um, you know, violent crime is is uh, very very low in the, within this this region in, in Sutter Creek. And um, you know, the the one thing that was kind of shocking to me is the uh, um, you know methamphetamine is everywhere, but. Um, mm. uh, you know, there's a little bit more here than than I anticipated. Right. Do you feel it's is, is uh, in the Sutter Creek in your jurisdiction, or or farther out in the county, or do you have any handles on that? Uh, we, I mean, we we obviously in, in Sutter Creek we we do um, have made some methamphetamine arrests, but um, you know, it's such a a, a drug that's um, so prolific and so readily available that. You know, it touches every community in in California and, and virtually the United States now, and, and we're not immune to it. Yeah, it seems to be a, a, a terrible drug. It seems to be uh, fairly easy to make or cheap to make or whatever, and uh, just but devastating, uh, devastating thing. And I do believe we have a problem like that. It's probably the the other police chiefs and the sheriff has has, uh, has uh, told you about that as well, or yeah, I mean, things you know, like that. Up. Having uh, having been uh, around the drug for you know the the vast majority of my career, um, you know, I've seen a lot of lives ruined as a result of the uh, the use and the addiction. Right. And uh, you have five children, and uh, you said like a, a couple are adopted and things like that, and it really wrecks children's lives. I mean, when adults get uh, tangled up into that, it's a, boy, what a mess. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, um, you know, the, the, the kids are the... Uh, the the ones that get impacted, they're the innocent bystanders, and you know they're they're the ones that are left uh, uncared for, or living with a family member now because uh, somebody's incarcerated. You know, so again, it uh, I've seen a lot of lives uh, impacted and ruined. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about something that you know, uh, Sutter Creek. I think Sutter Creek has like eleven uh, wine tasting rooms and. Uh, uh, you know, my wife and I, we go down to the, uh, down to Sutter Creek and uh, the, the, I believe it's the wine cellar. Or I'm, no, it's not the one. In the Sutter, okay, mm -hmm. hotel. And, uh, you know, is, is there a lot of uh, draw because of the wine tasting and the wine tasting in here? Are, are there a lot of DUIs in Sutter Creek? Uh, you know, looking back at the number from last year, I, I the uh, the number 14 sticks in my mind for the whole entire year, so you're talking a little over you know a little over one one a month is is what we're oh, on okay. a, on average. So um, it, you know to the first part of your question, you know tourism is is a big part of Sutter Creek, and um, you know with the 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 renewed interest in wine tasting and 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 the the popularity of that, you know I think the city is um, you know looked at that 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 popularity and and, and uh, made that part of their their business plan if you will okay so you've got that pretty well uh figured out or looking at that and i i know like i said i've been there and i i know that a lot of people have other people drive them home and everything the uh, a, a lot of people are very responsible sure and it seems like with a number of 14 it seems like uh it sounds like they are because uh you know, fairly responsible. 
less than one a month or a little over one a, a month. Over that's a month is what we averaged uh, last year. Wow. So. Okay, so that's great. So as you walk around the street and get to meet the people, how does how does it how does it feel there? Um, you know, you know, being being new to the area and, and again in a, in, a, in a small town, um, you know, I've went out and uh, you know also gone out of my way to meet meet the uh, the business owners. So um, when I have uh, a little bit of free time where I, I can go walk down street or down Main Street, I, I, I try to do that. Um, I've met with the uh, the people up at the high school and, and, and the principals in the area. And so we have some things planned in the future. Um, as well as we have, uh, you know, one of the things that as I was walking down um, around town, um, people, you know, one of their comments would be is we, we don't know who the police officers are. We don't know who the, the firemen are. So uh, we came up with a concept for um, it's, uh, it's meet your public safety personnel. And that's kind of be a, a meet and greet. And we're going to do a short bio on our my officers and the fire chief will be there talking about his guys. And so it'll give, it, give the uh, community a, an opportunity to meet um, the guy behind the badge, if you will. Okay. That's, that's really nice uh, to be able to do that. I know, you know, when you talk about it, it was just like and it is kind of important uh, for uh, local people to, to know their police officers and stuff. Now, okay, I'm going to... I had a question that just rolled off my head. Okay, so let's see. So you're, you're meeting the, the police officers um, down there. Have you... Uh, oh, I know what it was. Is When the police officers are out, and I know when I uh, travel about, it seems like... Um, the, the different departments back each other up a lot. Now, is that, is that what happens here in Amador County? Yeah, so um, if, if um, you know, our staff is out on um, a call and our resources within the city of Cedar Creek can't meet those um, demands that that officer may need some additional help, then, um, you know, the Sheriff's Department, the Highway Patrol, Jackson, or the city I own, we, we all collaborate and work together um, to get um, the job done. Do we have a good deterrence presence here in Amador County? It seems to me like we do, but I'd like to get, uh, you know, your view of that as a police officer. Well, I, th I think that's, you know, a, a person's perception is their reality. And so um, if you're driving down a, a certain corridor and, and you see a lot of marked vehicles, um, then, then obviously you think the presence is high. If you're in an area where um, historically there has been a lot of coverage, and you know, you know, with the economy, um, we've lost some positions, and so now they're not getting the attention that they once did. Um, now they're thinking the the um, there's not a law enforcement presence there. So it's it's I think in the perception of the the person that you're asking. But the way that. Uh uh, Amador County's uh, different uh, police entities back each other up. It seems like there's a uh, more than enough to 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 do uh, you know the required role that's needed. Sure, I mean it's always great to have uh, more staff, but um, from a service delivery standpoint, I think uh, um, we're meeting the expectations of the citizens. We have just a, a short uh, bit of time, and uh, you know about California's realignment. Mm -hmm. as, does that an impact the cities as well? Is there any role that the Sutter Creek Police Department plays in realignment in the parole violators, or not parole violators, that's the wrong way to put uh, people that are on parole? Well, um, you know, the, the, um, the, 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 they're called the PRCS um, okay. release. Um, you know, that impacted... Um, our operations quite a bit in Riverside County. Um, it, um, in fact, there was um, several task forces comprised of members of various departments just to deal with um, the problem realignment created. Um, here um, in town, I, I have not seen how PRCS has impacted um, the city. Um, we, we are getting some state funds to um, to offset any things that we may may encounter. So. You know, it's not a task force, but that th those monies go toward uh, equipment and those kinds of things. Okay, so seems like realignment from your point of view. I know you've only been here for a month, but from what you've heard from the other departments, seems like it's uh, working out pretty well here in Amador County. Yes, from my from you know the exposure I've had to it, it seems like uh, 
um, it's it's had minimal impact. Okay. I feel like, from what I've heard too, it seems like this, since we're such a small county, it seems that the concept might be working here well. Yes. I guess if it's going to work well anywhere, it's going to work in a small county like this. Sure, it's you know, uh, you know, just based on sheer numbers and volume, you know, people that go to uh, prison from you know Amador County versus Los Angeles County. Okay, Philip. It was uh, really nice to meet you. Great. Thanks for having me. Okay. Philip Hahn, our police chief in Sutter Creek. And uh, thanks for watching TSPN's News. And we'll see you again next time. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.